So my name is Claire and I am mum to Axel Walker and he was born with a very rare blood condition that required him to be born eight weeks early. He came to the BRI seven weeks early, um, so spent seven weeks in neonates and then he required regular blood transfusions. Axel absolutely loved his children ward. You always presume that when a child comes here, they're in pain quite a lot. There was, Axel were never in pain. And if he did, he certainly never showed it. You know, from them having to pin him down, to put needles in him, to have his cannulas put in, to have blood taken, he never once showed any form of pain. And when he used to come onto the children's ward, he used to press that little buzzer, the doors would open, and he'd go running and mock around the children's ward. And he used to run up and down, laughing his little head off, chasing the doctors and nurses all over the place. Or you'd see a train coming flying down one of the corridors because he'd pushed it and you'd all have to jump out of your way. But yeah, he loved his time and he loved the nurses. Whenever he saw the nurses and especially the play team, he had the biggest smile on his face because he knew them and it, and it was like home from home for him. I found that when, when you're a regular and when you come a lot, you do find your own routine in hospital. You recognise the nurses, you recognise the doctors, you recognise the play team, they recognise you. So it's it's not so daunting because when you first come and the first time that your child's in hospital, you, you're worried because your child's poorly. You don't know what to expect. You're worried because you see your child in pain and they're having, you know, being attacked with needles because they need to get blood and this can make your child cry. So having someone that you recognise and being able to take that pain away just makes it that little bit easier. I found that the staff were just so kind and caring and an understanding, recognising the fact that when, you, when you're when you getting admitted at four o'clock in the morning, your bed were made, Axel's bed were made, a cup of tea were waiting for you, toast were waiting for you, even at that time in the morning. And just little things like that made a big difference. And when he passed away, obviously I made the announcement and the amount of outpouring and love from the children's ward, from, from all the staff, from the doctors, from the nurses, from the play team, from everybody that cared for Axel and knew Axel, they just all of them could not pass on love any more than what they did. And then I think that we had about 10 members of staff that turned up to his funeral. Some of them, it would have been their day off. Some of them might have just finished nights and yet they still made that effort to not only come and say goodbye to Axel, but just to say hello to me and show, do you know what? I know we've not seen you in a while because you have been at the LGI having your transplant, but we're here to say we loved him, we miss him, and we want to say goodbye to him. What I'd really like to say to every staff member, all the doctors, nurses, consultants, housekeepers, play team, cleaners, porters, physios, a massive, massive thank you. I, as me and my partner as a family, cannot thank you guys enough. You've just, you made a really, really hard, daunting time just that little bit easier. You know, to, to come in and have a cup of tea and a smile just made things that little bit easier you know you didn't come in every every time and think oh god i'm back here again you did come in and think right okay we're okay he's in the right place he'll be well looked after and you guys are just truly amazing and i i cannot thank the bradford hospital enough you know you you went above and beyond for, for axel and myself and i'd just like to say a huge thank you so Axel's Toy Fund is something that's set up as part of our charity and Axel's family to be able to set up a fund for specialist toys and distraction games for children that are actually in hospital. We set it up really in response to the new hospital wing that was being built at the time and really the need for having um, toys and games for children in hospital. And really as a response at Christmas time, we are, we get donated lots of lovely toys from the community but they want to give those to the children at Christmas time and we have nothing left in the cupboards. So it was really set up then to be able to kit out the playroom in the children's ward as well as other areas in the hospital. 
So I was privileged to meet Axel as a, a one-year-old little boy playing with his older brother Lucas on the ward with some games and some toys and having lots of laughter and so forth. And he just typifies really the, the children that are in hospital having treatment and how important games and toys are for them during the treatment. And we've always kept in very close contact with the family and it was really important to Claire that we continued Axel's toy fund and we felt the same way too because actually to have his memory of, of a happy little boy playing on the ward was just Axel all over. Well I think it's something that's quite cathartic for families who've lost a child um, to continue remembering their little boy but they also want to do something really positive at a very very sad time and we'd love to continue to work with Axel and the family um, to be able to um, help make a difference in hospitals today. So the importance and benefits to the patient are throughout the whole year because it's not just at Christmas time that we're able to do these special things. Really it's about being sustainable and being able to replace that toy stock and identifying sometimes toys for patients perhaps with a complex need that might need different sort of toys um, but these all need refreshing throughout the year at some point and that's what we'd like to do with uh, Axel's Toy Fund. So your donations will make a really big difference, not only at Christmas time, but throughout the year. So if you'd like to donate to make a big difference yourself, you can check the details at bradfordhospitalscharity.org, but all the details are on our website.